My ward is a blank show. I can't actually say what this alderman in the city of Chicago said on this tape from WTTW News. But this was eye opening and people are looking at it, hearing it. They can read the transcript. You can hear the audio online, too, of this phone call and saying, why isn't this a bigger? Why isn't every news network in the country covering what is happening to the third or wait? No, I think it's the fourth largest. Is Houston larger than Chicago, producer Mark? I think it's close. But one of the largest cities, top five, Chicago, the Windy City, Chicago. Named for Chicaqua, which means stinky onion, because, in fact, there was a stinky form of plant found by the river where the city of Chicago currently is. True story, actually. And I believe it comes from a uh, it's Algonquin, I think, if my Native American history is correct. It does not mean the good land. That's Milwaukee, as we learned from Wayne's World. OK, back to Chicago. And back to this news story. Did uh, Producer Mark, I was trying to give you time to find out. Yes, it, Chicago is third behind uh, New York and L.A. Thank you. Per, Chicago is third. I like to get the facts correct here. Okay. Chicago is third largest city in the country. And, uh, and Alderman is effectively, it's just a fancy way of saying a city council person. I mean, you know, Alderman, city council, same thing. 50, mem- 50 Aldermen, 50 members of Chicago city council are on this call with Mayor Lori Lightfoot. And they talk about how, and this was on Sunday, May 31st. So this was right after some of the worst protests that happened. That day alone, according to to CBS CBS Chicago here, there were 699 arrests, almost all of them looters, 132 officers injured, 48 shootings, and 17 homicides. 17 murders. One day. That's a lot. You don't need me to tell you that. I mean, you just extrapolate that. What if you had 17 murders in the city of Chicago size every day for a year? It would be, I mean, it'd be the most violent place on earth by far. It'd be worse than really even some of the worst times in uh, Ciudad Juarez. Some of you may have seen in, in depictions in film, and Juarez for a while on the U.S. Mexico border because of the drug cartels there was on a per capita basis the highest homicide rate in the world. It was a terrifying place. Um, but and Yon Grillo, who has covered the cartels for many years, decades down in Mexico, wrote a book in which he said that when you crunch the math on it and an assassination in Juarez about uh, a decade or so ago, when things were really, really bad, you're looking at 2000, well, 2007, 2008, uh, an assassination cost less than one hundred dollars. That's what that's what a hitman would be paid. Anyway, Juarez, a horribly scary place back then i'm sure it's still not particularly safe now but i haven't checked on it recently uh chicago sounds pretty darn terrifying too um lightfoot the mayor said that this was a massive said that what happened was a massive massive problem and she described rioters as just f word in lawless right now quote i don't know about you but i haven't seen blank like this before not in Chicago, Mayor Lightfoot said. Uh, you, you go through this transcript, and it is, it is truly jaw-dropping. I mean, the, the write-up on WTTW news of it is, is um, it's, you read this, you say, how, how, is this, how is this not filtered out? It's with 50 city council members. You know why? Because they're all Democrats. Because they're all Democrats. And if you speak out and say that these riots were horrific and damaging and destroyed businesses and destroyed quality of life in minority in predominantly black communities in the city of Chicago, that interferes with Nancy Pelosi taking a knee. I'm so I'm so woke. It interferes with the narrative. So you can't do that. But finally. Some actual reporting, you know, occasionally local news. And this is what you see happening. So local news is still sometimes putting journalism. Be- sometimes we'll put journalism before politics just because not because they are so ethical, but because they'll have a story that's so big. And they know, I mean, I've never even heard of WTTW news before. And I, I'm in the news business, right? It's a local Chicago station. But they got such a big story that they have to run with it because there's dollars and cents attached to this one. 
I mean, this is getting their name out there all across the country. Why haven't we heard about this? This was what almost a week and a half ago. Why haven't we heard about this before? Oh, I'll tell you why. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.